Welcome to episode 164, Mikati Brothers 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 164. This is a continuation of the outline. Lesson number one, being Prime Minister of Lebanon is a very dangerous job. This is how the previous Prime Minister Rafik Hariri died. Najib Mikati is a nation-building self-made billionaire. I have covered three others, such as Dhirubhai Ambani, Chong Juyong, and Ben Franklin. That's the number two. He made 90% of his money outside Lebanon. This was logical because Lebanon was at war. That's the number three. His telecom empire, Investcom, started as a hobby. I was doing all this as a hobby. But my brother, who had graduated from business school at AUB, propose that we develop it as a business. The whole thing and that's how Investcom was born. Investcom started and it was no more a hobby. Lesson number four, it took him 15 years to become an expert in mobile phone. And as we went along developing ACC, I fell back on my hobbies. One of them was radio and telecommunication. Back in my AUB days, my friends will remember how on every occasion, I used to bring radio kits and assembled wireless radios and wireless telephones for fun and for learning. Lesson number five, he speaks seven different languages. Some of you might be saying that for an AUB grad, he should have been more fluent in English. Yet my English got worse instead of improving. Because in my professional life, I ended by speaking all kinds of languages from various Arabic dialects of the Arabian Gulf, to the Urdu, the uh, Indian, to African Nigerian, to Sinhalese French. Lesson number six, your family made you a success. You may still be living with your family, with your parents, but let me give this advice. Now and later, never, ever, never forget what your parents did for you, how they are preparing you to build day by day your own happy family in the future. In, 19, in uh, two, 2003, I faced very serious health problem, and I was forced to have a liver transplant. Following the operation, I had a fast and full recovery, and the medical report indicate this fast recovery had to do with the support enjoyed from my family. Lesson number seven, there is no luck, and you must have a dream. You must work hard and have a good education. Some would say he got luck because if you wait for luck to help you, you will, you will be end up every night sleeping with, a, with an empty stomach. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. So at the root of every lucky person, there is a hard work. But more importantly, of hard work should be a dream to different adventurers with the hope of being in the right place at the right time to grab the right opportunity. Lesson number eight, how to succeed in Africa. He traveled all over Africa for 10 years. So I opened up in Africa, where many countries didn't even know what telephones meant at that time in many, in many areas in Africa. And for 10 years, I traveled all over Africa, wandering from one country to other, sleeping one night in a place in a two-star hotel and the second day in a small hut in jungle. It was a very difficult start in Africa, but a very rewarding one because it was an interesting experience and I was getting a very nice return from my effort. Lesson number nine, how to compete with the big companies, AT&T, Sprint, and MCI. Everybody asked me how I can compete with the big firms, big players. My answer would always be thanks to my Lebanese engineers. They are a good if not better than their foreign comp competitors, and provide better technical service at a lesser cost. Was able to provide better service with the same equipment that the big player can, play, can use than the competition because I had much less overhead. And I, willing, and I was willing to accept much less return than the big player. As a matter of fact, the big player will not go to a, somewhere in Africa for a, uh, let's say, $50,000 per month return. But for me, it was a very, very big amount. So 
where it was nothing for a big firm like AT&T, MCI or something. It was so successful that the three big players and big companies in the United States in this field at that time, AT&T, Sprint, and MCI, all were lobbying with the FCC, the U.S. Re regulatory authority, to declare this system illegal. But the FCC declared I was in a gray area because they said what I was doing was not regulated by law. However, it was not forbidden by any law. Also, because it was a new product. That's a number 10. I cannot do it never accomplishes anything. But I will try and I will do it might perform wonder. To climb the mountain top, you will have to face many roadblocks. Here's the difference. The weak will turn back. The strong will look ahead using that same roadblock as a tool to step on and move forward. So whatever the obstacle, learn to use it to your advantage. Overcome it and move on, keeping focused on your goal. Because I cannot do it, never accomplish anything. But I will try and I will do it might perform wonders. Thank you for watching. Please leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.